We now need to talk about linear acceleration. What is the equation for linear acceleration? Dolly. Uh, acceleration equals change of velocity over change of time. Going back to chapter two, acceleration equals change of velocity over change of time. We are now going to talk about angular acceleration. The symbol for angular acceleration is alpha. Alpha is the technical name for the angular acceleration. Sometimes we call it by its much more fun name, fishy thing. <laughs> Considering linear acceleration is change in velocity over change in time, what do you think the equation for angular acceleration is? Um, Sam. Just so you know, we're using a model here. We have the linear and the angular. We have the linear, we have the angular. Change in angular velocity over change in time. Notice how these two equations are exactly the same with the exception of you just put in the word angular. We have angular acceleration equals the change in angular velocity over change in time. Dimensions on angular acceleration are what, Adam? What do you think? Um, probably going to be radians per second squared. Radians per second squared. We could have all sorts of things. We could have revolutions <laughs> per decade squared. But in the end, radians per second squared is pretty much the only thing you're going to see for angular acceleration. So it's the only one I'm going to write on the board. Page 250, practice problem number one. Page 250, practice problem number one. Ashray, if you could please read. And uh, Katie, can you please translate? 250, number one. Page 250, practice problem number one. Right. A figure skater began spinning counterclockwise at an angular speed of 4.0. Pi radians per second. Uh, uh, omega equals 4.0 pi radians per second. During a 3.0 second interval. Uh, time equals 3 seconds. She slowly pulls her arms inward and finally spins at 8.0 pi radians per second. Uh, omega final equals 8.0. What is her average angular acceleration during this time interval? Uh, fishy thing equals question <laughs> mark. Uh, and it's omega initial. Good. It is the initial angular velocity. Oh. In initial angular. Oh. Oh, All right. Change in time. Oh, change in time. It is the change in time. It's not a specific time, but rather the change in time. So clearly you can see that for this particular problem and a lot of these problems, the issue is really understanding what all the different new symbols are. At this point, angular acceleration is just change in angular velocity over change in time, or omega final minus omega initial divided by delta t in this particular case. That's 8 pi minus 4 pi divided by 3. Angular acceleration, fishy thing, equals. Sorry, I missed that second. 1.333 radians. <laughs> um, I got 4.187. Yeah. Tell me what you forgot. It's a classic mistake, happens all the time. Um, ugh. <laughs> okay. The four pennies, no parentheses. No, it's not actually a parentheses in this particular case. Hey, come on. She just forgot the clock. They just forgot to multiply by pi. Okay. I don't know why, but the pi just disappears sometimes. So please remember to multiply by pi. What'd you get there? 4.18879. 18879. In the end, we get 4.2 radians per second squared. 